Hello, I'm Deb Ashby and I'm a TAP certified MOSS accredited IT trainer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate values inside a pivot table. Excel gives you the opportunity to perform calculations on pivot table data using calculated fields. Adding a calculated field enables you to insert a new row or column into a pivot table and then fill the new row or column with a formula. For example, if we have the total amount of revenue generated per month for two types of hotel and the number of reservations, you might want to work out how much each room costs per night by dividing the revenue by the number of reservations. Whilst this calculation does not appear in the source data, we can add this to the pivot table by using a calculated field. Let's take a look at how we can do this. Calculated fields are a cool thing in Excel because they allow you to perform some kind of calculation and add it as a field into your data. So here we have two hotel rooms, Cambridge and Piccadilly. And what I want to do is work out how much a reservation is per night. So I want to divide the revenue by the reservation. And I can do that using a calculated field from fields, items and sets. So let's select calculated field. Now this is going to be created as a pivot table field, so I want to give it a meaningful name. So I'm going to call mine Rev per Res. And then I need to type in my formula. And I do that by selecting the field. So I want to do revenue, I'm going to insert that field, divided by reservations and insert field. Okay, and click on the OK button. And you can see that's given me a Rev per Res pivot table field. And if I click it, it will add it into the values area. And you can now see that in my data, I have sum of rev per res. And I might want to, to round that uh, down or up a little bit, just to make it a little bit clearer as to what that total is. So I'm going to right click, click on value field settings, go to number format, go to currency, and then I'm just going to take those decimal places down to zero. And I can see that the average reservation per night for Cambridge is 200 and for Piccadilly around 274.